was exactly what I had pictured a college to be like. Every Friday night there's either a coffee house or a cabaret, which are two places where you can go on Friday nights just to either listen to an open mic where people can play music. You don't come to a small school to be a face in the crowd. Everyone wants to be involved in some way. You can spend your entire freshman year and just take intro to everything, do a little bit of everything. I took sociology, I took psychology, I took economics freshman year, I took political science, I took everything before I realized that I want to be an economics major. Union's a place where one person can come to the school and make an impact right away. It's a type of place where you can develop leadership skills while getting an education and having a good time. You can get a sense of how Mailer is not simply a 20th century writer who began his career at a certain time, but indeed that the ideas he uses and the kind of writing he does resonates into a background, as it were, of a lot of other American writers. There's so many options here. I walked on campus and it was the place for me. What a college should look like, what a college should be. I had gone on probably a five school tour and stepped on this campus, one foot on and knew that this was the place. You will find that the way to stimulate the imagination sometimes is not through the brain, but through the body. Through the body. The body can awaken the imagination. And the reason is, if you lift up a short little segment, which, which is all that you've got exposed there, what will happen is the nerve will, will pull a little kink in the nerve and it'll stretch, and that'll kill the nerve. I would argue, if you have a sensitive student who is rigorous and curious, you have somebody who is magnificently prepared for the future. We sensitize them. Not only do we teach them to think analytically, but we try and sensitize them to a whole variety of things that they never necessarily had been aware of before. So I think the other half of the preparation is the whole question of, of, of developing the sensitivities of students and make them conscious of aspects about the world that they've never had to live with before. Professor Nichols is, I'd have to say, my most favorite professor. I've had him for two classes. He captures you. He really stimulates your thinking, just to the point where you don't know where your thoughts are coming from, but they're just popping out of you. Oh, no, there's no fun at Union outside of academics. <laughs> um, there's, there's so many activities offered here at Union. If they don't have it, you can start it up yourself. There's just so much to do. with Professor Barry Smith in the summer of my sophomore year. And um, it was actually right before I left on my term abroad to China. And I thought that was sort of a good sequence of doing things. It taught me a lot about myself. It taught me a lot about other people. And it taught me to discover and to be very curious about life. And I'm not really sure it taught me a lot about acting. I don't think the name really describes what it is. But it's sort of a unique experience. It has a lot to offer. Union is a place that you can make it exactly what you want it to be. I don't know if other schools allow you to just create your own environment as much as Union. And there's faculty who are incredibly talented in their field. And they're there for you and they're there to support students and foster creativity. Union's a campus and a school where you can get to know people on the campus, the professors, and you can get involved in activities that are beyond your major. You can take higher level art courses, you can take higher level science courses without being in the majors. I think that's its best strength. The total rate of evaporation is not constant. This is the yearly average. So in the summer it's much greater, in the winter it's much less. But this volume of water, if you go and start multiplying it out, is how much these pumps had to have to pump per week. And it's My father went here and a couple relatives, but that's not why I chose it. It's one of the only small schools I knew of that had 
uh, really good engineering and really good liberal arts because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. But I started out in engineering and I found I liked the courses I was taking in civil engineering. I was a mechanical engineer and I just came over and talked to the civil engineering. I talked to different engineering, different majors, and just that ability to go talk to them led me to change my major early on. To be able to do that and get open, honest responses from all kinds of different departments really helped me weigh the decision of what major I wanted to be when I graduated. Faculty, I believe, here at Union College is, is a very, very caring faculty. I mean, they won't let you slip. And, I mean, they're always willing to help you, but, I mean, they only help those who are willing to help themselves. I learned about Union my senior year in high school. My advisor told me a little bit about Union, and I came to visit. I found the atmosphere very comfortable, the community very together, the education very strong. I found the food better. <laughs> This offers something to everyone. It offers the academics that people need, the social life that people desire, the amount of clubs, sports, activities for people to get involved with. I think that's something you've got to look at the school to make sure it can offer everything. I chose Union because of the programs, basically. I was in the six-year law program for two years, and I decided that I wasn't ready to become an attorney. I wasn't ready to go to grad school after only three years of undergraduate. And I like Union. I liked it a lot. I wanted to stay here. I'd, I'd grown a lot here, and I felt that my last year was going to be a big part and a good growing experience in that way. Well, I think he uses some really intense colors to get across what most people would just use uh, in a flesh tone. He uses, mm -hmm. And the viewer has to blend the rest of the, rest of the picture together. Kind of like an optical that. mix in the colors, yeah. Mm -hmm. For example, the way that he used that uh, you know, deep magenta for the uh, shadow in the ear uh, is something you'll learn to apply uh, when you, you know, work in the model uh, later on in the term. Walter Hackey, just incredibly talented. So what do you think I should do with all the rest of this? He has a very calm and collected way of explaining and teaching that I found really pleasant. He's a very patient man. <laughs> that, that was helpful. There are grants that are to go to union students who will then find an advisor who's usually a professor to do research with them over the summer. I was 19 years old and already I've published in a major biology bulletin and, uh, and I've given some presentations at a national science symposium. So it's really amazing. These things do happen and they happen here. And that's what's the neatest thing about it. I think students learn better when they have that kind of uh, exposure to the act of learning rather than simply sitting in lectures. And I think undergraduate students respond very well to situations where they get to, to use what they know is a state-of-the-art piece of equipment. In many institutions, undergraduates never even see this kind of equipment. 
uh, and especially in graduate institutions where the graduate students may use it, but the undergraduate students don't have a chance. When I first got here, I didn't know that I wanted to be an economics major. I just took a little bit of everything and decided economics is what I wanted to do. Right now, you know, I can do lots of things with my education. I go to law school or get a job. It doesn't even have to be in the economics field. I made the right decision for choosing Union College because I know that as a biology major, if I get myself really prepared, I'll be ready for med school and I don't have to struggle that much when I get there. There are certain times here at Union College where I can feel the transition of growth. I think those are the best times where you want to even write a journal. It's like things that you go through with your roommates, your positions that you're holding in offices, your responsibilities, and how that's changing you in certain ways. Sometimes I, I wish I can capture that, and I think that's what college is all about. The friendship that I made here at Union College, in a way, has gotten me prepared for the outside world, and that's what I really remember when I graduated, looking back 20 years from now. God can't increase a person's state of desirability as much as God can, precisely because there aren't limits to God's power. How do you feel about this, Tracy? Skip God off the hook here? I mean, I know that we talked about limited omnipotence and unlimited omnipotence. If you're looking for an experience that's going to give you the opportunity to grow and the opportunity to find who you are and something to give back, then you need your place because you won't find any pressures here to conform and you won't find any pressures to adjust. You'll just be who you are. And I think that's the most important element of an academic environment, of an intellectual environment, is to be able to discover who you are. And I, when I think of Union, I think of spaces. I think of a lot of spaces. I think of, of the green in front of the library. And for some reason, that's symbolic to me of room to grow, room to be. I'm to find that's union.